We're still here at Banks Power, and I'll tell you what, you're going to do things like tuning and you're going to modify one of these trucks. A big roadblock was put in front of all the guys in the marketplace, okay, and that was by the EPA mandate for the diesel particulate filter. Exactly. The particulate trap removes the soot from the exhaust. And if you're going to tune for better power, you can't add additional soot. So this is the item that separates the men from the boys in the aftermarket. You have to be able to measure the soot output of the engine. And we built some serious equipment to allow us to do that. Let me show you. Well, what we've done here is we've converted a four-door four-place truck into a four-door two-place truck. The rest is instrumentation. So you've got the driver's position and you've got the engineer's position. And the test engineer is looking at and handling a lot of things while the driving cycle is being run. One of the things he's looking at is the air-fuel ratio on the lambda sensor. He's looking at the wager sensor, which measures diesel smoke. He's looking at the situation screen, which tells him what the injectors are doing, various things he might want to call up out of the data acquisition. And then the laptop is actually looking inside of our auto mind or our six-gun tuner, assuring that the clean tune calibration is always proper. But the real secret is dealing with the diesel particulate filter. Uh -huh. You know the problems with those. Yep, if you get too much shit in them, you plug them up, you hurt them, they overheat, exactly. all kinds of things. Exactly. So what is this? This is the bank's micro soot sensor measuring unit. And basically what we do is we take exhaust from underneath the truck, we route it up through the floor of the truck and into the measuring unit, and we are measuring the soot right down to the nano-sized particles. The micro soot, huh? Exactly. We're unique, I believe, in the aftermarket with this. The OEs do this sort of thing. Well, it looks like a pretty hefty price tag on that. Yeah, I'm back about a quarter of a million in, in putting this system together. But if you're going to go forward in the diesel aftermarket, you have to do this sort of thing. One thing you can do, you can shorten the life of the diesel particulate filter. Of course, you use fuel every time you do it. Uh, but the other thing is, a diesel particulate filter, much like a catalytic converter, gets too much shit in it, and it starts to regen, so it creates tremendous exhaust gas temperature. Yeah, it does, and that exa exhaust gas temperature finds its way out the tailpipe. So you've got to be very cautious there, too.